Quebec is moving forward now with legislation to restrict religious symbols in public places. Leaked details suggest it could mean a ban on Sikh, Muslim and Jewish headwear, as well as no visible crucifixes allowed for any uh, government workers. For reaction to this proposed legislation, we're joined by Prem Singh uh, Vinning. Uh, Prem is the president of the World Sikh Organization of Canada and joins us now from Vancouver. Prem, what's your reaction? What's well, Sarka, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I, well, I say the least, I'm extremely disappointed. And what about the community there? What are they saying? Well, the community have uh, spoken to some of the community members in Quebec, and uh, obviously they're just as disappointed, if not more so. Uh, it seems like only yesterday that uh, we finished dealing with the issue of uh, sick children wearing the turbans and the patkas. And uh, we're at it again, and uh, I'm, I'm just blown away as a Canadian, uh, you know, where is this thing leading to? Uh, I thought the PME and, and the government would have, a, you know, sort of more pressing issues to deal with. In the month of July, uh, you know, uh, they lost 30,400 jobs in the, mainly in the healthcare social service sector. Uh, I thought the priority would have been to put Quebecers back to work instead of picking on minorities. Do you think your religious group is being targeted more than others? Well, I think that they've, uh, as you mentioned, uh, they've targeted to Christians, uh, Jews, Muslims, and uh, you know, uh, you mentioned the crucifix. Uh, you know, is the Christmas tree next? I mean, it's synonymous with the, uh, with Christmas and celebration of Christ. Uh, they're going to now ban Christmas tree. Where where does this uh, stop? That's the question that everyone's asking. How far can it go? Why do you think the Quebec government? Uh, is looking at this issue in this way? I really don't know. As I mentioned, I think that there were a lot of other pressing issues that then, you know, unemployment, national unemployment rate is 7.2 percent. Quebec is 8.2 percent. Uh, you think uh, we'd worry about that? Uh, right across Canada, you know, we talk about uh, in the coming years that there will be shortage of trades people and skilled people and qualified people across this great land of ours and and uh, we're trying to we're trying to we're trying to scare people away and we're trying to take people's rights away you know working in uh, in certain government fields and jobs in certain sectors I just don't understand the rationale and uh, what's behind this and uh, uh, I'm happy to hear that the three opposition parties, the Liberal Party um, the, and the other two, are, are opposing this uh, legislation. And uh, I believe, uh, as I believed before and uh, during the soccer issue, that the majority of Quebecers uh, are not racist and, uh, you know, they will not support this. Are you meeting with the uh, Party Quebecois members? Any discussion about that? Uh, we, you know, uh, this is this has been going on the backgrounds. We have been meeting with uh, with different groups, and uh, we will be uh, different with uh, meeting with different parties. And uh, and and I don't shy away from meeting the premier and and the present government. Uh, uh, we'd been more than happy to talk to them and uh, talk about these issues. We said that before, and uh, I'm open to talk to them even now. Okay, Prem, thanks so much. Good luck. Thank you very much indeed.